Hi, today in this video, I will be sharing with you all that you must know before making your own LIFE PO4 battery pack. So here is the summary. Number one, components needed. Number two, full step-by-step -step detailed construction. Number three, construction of your own bus bars. Number four, compression force that I have given to my prismatic battery cells. Number five, an excellent active balancer type DALI BMS that is 200 amperes with Bluetooth as well as Wi-Fi monitoring. So let's get started. These what you see are four LIFE PO4 prismatic battery cells. Let's have a close up. Here as you can see it's written 3.2 volts for each battery and 100 ampere hour. I'm not sure about this company high star but let's see how it performs. Now the plan is to create a battery pack using these cells and for balancing these I'm going to use my new DALI BMS active balancer type with Bluetooth connection for the status of every single battery. So this is the close up for my new BMS. It looks really nice and shiny, extremely good quality and quite handy and small see it's beautiful plus uh, there are a few more things that i get with it these are some super thick wires for connections and uh, the other pin outs so here i'm going to test the battery voltage 3.254 next 3.255 next 3.255 and the last one 3.255 so the battery cells are completely balanced and finally let's use my 55 watts car headlamp to do the final check yes working next nice third one this is also working fine and the last one so all the batteries look fine let's proceed further now i'm going to place some extra thick foam in between the batteries because there is a little confusion if the batteries should be compressed or not and I don't want to take any risks so I'm going to do the compression to some extent and this uh, foam is also going to act as an insulator in between the battery so here as you can see guys that I have zip tied the battery cells I'm not sure how much uh, pressure should I put on these batteries and I did some research somewhere they are saying around 80 kgs and a few places they are saying around 150 kgs so I was not sure therefore I placed around 70 kgs to be on the safer side now for connecting these batteries in series I'm going to use this copper piece I'm going to cut out pieces for bus bars with a cross section of 20 cross 4 cross 75 that is going to be the size for the bus bars these are capable of handling up to 300 amperes which is very good see pretty thick so here i'm going to cut it off into three equal pieces i've already marked the places Time to do some drilling for my bus bars. So here as you can see I've completed the work on the bus bars and I've also sanded the terminals that are going to get connected to the battery points. Only three are needed. Moving on to the next part which is using some sandpaper to clean up the oxidation layer on the battery terminals. Finally, moving on with the series connection of the battery pack. First bus bar, placing it like this. Always place both the bolts, like one I've already connected loosely and same with the second terminal. Now the reason for connecting both the nuts at the same time is uh, because when you are going to tight it up with your electric screwdriver, 
it might rotate the bus bar and short circuit an entire cell. So this is going to lock it. First one done. Moving on to the next one. And uh, one more thing. Batteries are placed in such a way that this is minus, this is plus, this is minus again, this is plus once again. So alternate, which means that this plus is connected to the minus and this plus will be connected to this minus. And similarly, this plus will be connected to this minus. And uh, after connecting both of them, still hold the bus bar really strong. Yeah. Moving on to the last one. Plus and minus. Finally. And we are done. Next, take this B minus cable that comes with the BMS and a bolt and place it like this. After that, you might have also received this cable. This also comes with the BMS. So take the black one from this set. This is the black one. And this black one will be connected with this uh, B negative. So doing that. Done. These wires are connected to the negative of the battery, the overall negative of the battery. Next, take this blue wire, which is closest to the black one and this wire will be connected to this bus bar like any terminal because they are short. It's strongly tight. Moving on to the next one. Take the next blue wire and connect it to this bus bar. Done. Finally, this one. This is also done. After that, take the next blue wire, which is this one, and we have to connect this to the B positive red wire. So here I'm going to connect it like this and solder it like this, as you can see. Finally, connecting this wire to the overall positive of this battery pack, which is this point. Cover the remaining wires from this set here as shown with the help of an insulation. Next, take some insulation tape and put it on one end of the B negative black wire done next on the bms you see the p negative here we will connect this p negative cable finally the b negative and finally completing the rest of the connections done and the final B positive. So here, as you can see, the status indicator light is glowing green. This shows that your BMS is correctly connected and it is ready for charge and discharge. The battery pack is almost complete now. And this is where I have placed the BMS with the help of small screws. And uh, I have assembled the wires with insulation tape as well as zip ties in one place. This uh, single wire is left, I have to tape it. Finally, the last wire which is the positive one this needs to be connected and i have disconnected this p positive as well as the blue cable because i will have to disconnect this wire again and we are done so yeah this is how the battery looks and if we check the overall voltage so here we have it, 13 volts, which means that it needs charging. For charging the battery to maximum value, I have this SMPS power supply, turning it on. And here as you can see the voltage, 14.3 volts DC. Plus I'm also going to connect this multimeter to see the voltage rise. The blue wire is positive, uh, the blue wire of the SMPS supply, that's done. Finally, the negative wire. Now for safety, I'm also going to connect my clamp meter to measure the drawn current for just in case if it shoots way too high. Here you can see 14.4 volts is coming out from the power supply and finally connecting it to the battery. So guys, it's been an hour and the battery is still charging and I'm charging it with very low amperes. And here as you can see that the voltage has increased from 13 volts to around 13.4 volts DC. 
and now I'm going to show you something really important which is uh, the monitoring of this PMS here as you can see the state of charge SOC stands for state of charge is 88% which means uh, that we need another 12% 12.1% to get it to 100% and on further close up you can see here that the charging current is 11.9 amperes and uh, the capacity has still have to update and the overall voltage is 13.3 yeah because it is still not 13.40 so here as you can see that the battery pack is fully charged and uh, it is showing 14.05 volts although this beautiful bms cut off the charging at 14.2 volts and here i have uh, finally set the soc at 100 percent which means that it has reached 100 percent capacity the remaining capacity 100 ampere hour some voltage 14.0 volts almost 14 volts and that you can also see on the multimeter so it is quite accurate maximum cell voltage is 3.524 here 3.520 minimum cell voltage here we can also see uh, the battery string indicating that which battery has the highest voltage here you can see the red one 3.525 volts and uh, the third one is 3.520 let's once again go to the parameters charging and discharging current that all we can do it is uh, amazing how we can control it and this is bluetooth connection we can also do this for a long distance i mean like a remote monitoring you see 4G devices and Wi-Fi and for Wi-Fi we'll have to connect this uh, Wi-Fi module here you see remote monitoring Wi-Fi and 4G devices and that is for more data and the same as before so here I finally placed the Wi-Fi module the wire goes like this parallel to the zip tie the last one and here we have it at the back so here I have this uh, 12 volts 100 watts car headlamp bulb let's connect it this time with much more power oh see so bright <laughs> nice it's very hot now this is a 26.7 ampere or 24 volts 500 watts permanent magnet dc motor from an e-bike so let's test this with my battery pack Whoa. nice so guys this is how you can make your own battery pack and if you want to buy this bms link will be provided in the description it is a great device for making an lifepo 4 battery pack for solar energy storage systems and you can access all the details for this bms like how to connect uh, the bms and uh, what are the ratings and everything by scanning this simple qr code now there is this important announcement I started these daily quizzes to refresh your knowledge on engineering topics like motors, generators, electronics, etc. And well done to all those who have given correct answers. Please know that if some of you have still not received any quiz notification from me, make sure that you have subscribed my channel and have turned on all notifications and therefore check out where you stand. Next, a lot of love and thanks to my paid members for their additional support. Also, a big recommendation for all to check my 3D prints page and my socials for even more fun. Links are in the description. Although, you can also become my member here on YouTube for all my channels by simply clicking on the join button. So, make sure that you try it now. Bye-bye.